at Greek islands. How many years has Greek islands been around? In this location, it is 37 years, the end of the year. And altogether, it will be almost 48 years in this neighborhood. Wow. Yes. You were born in Greece? Yes. When did you come over to the United States? I came in the United States in 1956, and I was 17 years old. Wow. Since I was seven years old, I helped my father at the little restaurant we had at the village. So I've been with people all my life. Tell me what made your food so special and your restaurant so special. First of all, I love people. That's, I can never serve a customer something that is not good, good enough for me to eat. And don't change the quality. What is special about Greek culture that you hope the, continues? The hospitality. If I can help somebody, I do. They used to call me the smiling gus, okay? The smiling because gus. I was smiling all the time. What is your favorite, you have to pick, what is your absolute favorite Greek dish of all time? I never eat one item. Every day I will try at least three, four, five different items. If someone's watching our interview right now, someone's watching us talk and they've never been to Greek Town, why would you say they gotta come to Greek Town and they gotta come to Greek Islands, your restaurant? Yes, that's the only reason, because we're gonna take care of them as best we can, okay? And we provide you with the best quality of the food. So I am in a candle shop. Where you guys actually make the candles, I can't believe yes, we it. Do. We're this not is... we're not just any candle store. It's this just... is so cool. It is. Tell me like what you guys well, do. Well we're basically we're a Greek Orthodox store, but we are multicultural, multi religious, multi everything, ethnic. Uh -huh. So my grandparents started the business. He started dipping candles in Greece. He first came over to the States in nineteen ten, but by nineteen twenty he officially started, you know, with the business. And uh, we started making hand-dipped candles, like eight inches. We go up to five feet. Wow. We now make beeswax candles like this as well. Um, and we cater to all the needs of the Orthodox community, whether it's baptism, christening, wedding, memorials. And you can also wear an oil, too. We have a lot of um, oils that you can wear, too. You don't necessarily have to burn a candle. We have incenses, too, you can use. You know, we want to cater to everybody, because everybody's looking for something, a spiritual need, an epic need, a religious need, whatever it is. So we've got something for everybody. Okay, Helen, speaking of spiritual needs, <laughs> G has some needs, okay? I need, I need, uh, I need some... I need, uh, uh, let's see, do we have something that's going to help me find love? We, yes, we okay. do. Do we have something that's going to help me with my career? Yes, we do. Okay, love, career, what else? Um, health? Yes, we do. Okay, I need all three of those things. Why is Greektown Chicago so special? Greektown Chicago. Greektown Chicago is so special because Greektown Chicago is one of the things that are not being taken by the messes, the messes restaurant. You still see moms and pops restaurant, you still see little coffee shops, you still see little, uh, uh, the candle shop, the bakery, restaurants that they operated by mom and pop. Um, how does it feel to be, you know, you're one of the OGs, you helped establish this? Uh, it feels good. I think we give the best food in Greek town. I'm sorry to all my Greek friends, but... Uh, you guys I, all know each other, right? Absolutely, we, we eat, they eat here, we go there, we all, we all friends. So how cool is it to see the next generation take over? I'm thrilled. Unbelievably happy to see them taking over the business. Tell me about these Greek boozes. Metaxa, one of the best uh, is a cognac. Okay, Greek? Can, Greek cognac. Okay. Uh, it's been in service for so many years. Probably one of the best cognacs you can try. Siniyama. Siniyama. Bravo to our health. Mm, bravo. Actually, that's smooth. Oh my goodness, give me another one. You see? Just kidding, just kidding. Fresh octopus from Spain. This is why I can't lose weight. Oh my God, that was so good. That was really good. Look at mothers, baby. So 
I'm here with my friend Nicholas. We are at Spectrum, which is an awesome late night place. You're familiar with this place. I'm very familiar with it. Okay, so tell us about Nicholas and Greektown. In Greektown. Yeah. It's a lot different today than it was when I first moved into the neighborhood mm -hmm. in 96. Today, it's like Disneyland. <laughs> Nearly everybody wants to be in Greektown. Yes. Gr Greektown now is a, is a very happening cosmopolitan center of the city. Again, that has really everything from your big box retailer to your shops to nightlife restaurants, uh, you know, whether it, whether it's Greek food or Italian or sushi, it's all here. So I'm here with Andreas, he is the owner of Spectrum, and what I love about Greek Town is that there's lots of places you can go late night. Do Greeks know how to party? Of course they do, <laughs> yes. Did you do a lot of partying in your day? Oh my God, you don't know the stories about partying here, breaking plates. <gasps> Greek nights. Is that a Greek thing? Yes. When you break the plates, do you go, oh, ah. Oh, there you go, yes, oh, yes. you know. Oh, you've ah, been there, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so tell me about Spectrum. How many years? Well, we've been here for 30 years. I actually celebrated a couple of weeks ago, a 30 year anniversary. A lot of people don't realize that you guys have delicious food. And how late do you serve the food till? Until 3 a.m. Food is delicious. Because I'm a night owl. I'm always looking for a place to eat late at night. So clearly I just need to come to Spectrum in Greek town. Yes, you should. What are some of the best dishes? Uh, we're very famous for uh, our meatballs. It's, it's called Chef Talia. We have a lot of regular people that come here all the time. You, it's a place to meet and, and uh, meet new people. Um, the atmosphere is good, friendly, and I'm here every day. And, uh, You're yeah, still I mean, party animal? You're here well, every night? Yes, yes I am. Mm, okay. <laughs> 30 years. How late do you stay? We, uh, we never, I never close early. Well, what if people are coming looking for Andreas at like 3 in the morning? Are you going to be here? Every night except Sundays. That Sunday's my day off. Wow, okay. He's <laughs> still the party animal. Yeah. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on The Grid.